In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the error in Google Sheets that says circular dependency detected. The circular dependency error happens when you have a formula that refers to a range of cells where the formula is contained in that range that you're referring to. And so this creates a circular dependency. And so I'm going to show you multiple examples of how to fix this error. So in this first example, in cell B1, we have text. And in cell A1, we have a formula that's giving us a circular dependency error. So this formula is a very simple one. It's simply a cell reference. It's referring to a cell. But the problem is that we are referring to cell A1 in the formula by saying equals A1, but the formula itself is in cell A1. And so what we're going to do to fix this is simply change our reference from A1 to B1. And so now our formula in cell A1 is displaying the word text because we are referring to cell B1, which has the word text in it. So here's another example where a filter function is giving us a circular dependency error. So in this filter function, we're telling Google Sheets to filter the range A2 through D, where column C is greater than 1. But the problem is that we are referring to column D, and our formula is in column D. And so what we need to do to fix this is simply adjust our source range in the filter function. And so I'm going to change D to C, because I'm only wanting to filter columns A through C. And now the filter formula works. So here's another way that circular dependencies often happen. When you're trying to calculate totals with the sum function at the bottom of your data. And so in this example, our sum function is referring to all of column A. And again, our formula is inside column A. And so the formula cannot refer to itself. And so what we're going to do to change this is we're going to specify an ending row in our sum function. And so our data that we're wanting to sum goes through row 5. And so I'm going to add a 5 at the end of the range so that we're telling Google Sheets to sum A1 through A5. And now our sum function works. So here's a more complex way that the circular dependency error will show up. And this is when we have two different formulas that are both referring to each other. And so in this example, we can see that in cell B1, it's giving us a circular dependency error. And also, in cell C3, we have a circular dependency error. So don't worry about exactly what these formulas are doing. Just take note that in cell C3, the formula is referring to cell B3. But the formula in cell B3 is also referring to cell C3. And so when both of these formulas are referring to each other, it creates a circular dependency. Each is dependent on the other, and a result cannot be calculated. And so the strange thing here is actually that one formula error is causing both of these to display an error. And so in this example, the formula that was entered incorrectly is in column B. So in cell B3, I'm going to change the formula so that it's referring to column A instead of column C. So instead of C3 equals complete, I'm going to type A3 equals 1. Then I'm going to press Enter. And you can see that fixing this one formula has now removed both of the errors in columns B and C, because now B is referring to A and C is referring to B. And so I'm going to fix this formula for all of column B, and that fixes our formula for the remaining rows. So here's another common way that the circular dependency error will pop up when you're using Google Sheets. And that's when you're trying to refer to data on another tab, but you forget to include the tab name in your formula. So on this tab, we simply have raw data in columns A and B. We have text that shows the item name and the size. And we're going to refer to this data with a formula on another tab. And so here you can see that our filter function that we're trying to use is giving a circular dependency error 
And again, that's because we've forgotten to include the tab name in our formula. So where I've typed the ranges for this filter function, you can see that no tab name is included. And my formula is inside of column A. And so when I add the tab names, my filter function should be fixed. So I'm going to drag my cursor into the formula bar and click right before A2. And then I'm going to type an apostrophe and then enter the tab name, type another apostrophe, and then type an exclamation point. Whenever the tab name has a space in it, you have to include apostrophes before and after the tab name. And also make sure to include the exclamation point so that Google Sheets knows that you're referring to a tab name. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the other range, apostrophe, tab name, apostrophe, exclamation point. And now I've entered the tab names into my formula like I should have done originally. Now I'm referring to the data on another tab like I meant to and filtering the items and the sizes where the size is equal to medium. So if you want to learn more about fixing the circular dependency error in Google Sheets, I've linked the article for this video below.